This video provided by Bowie Police shows what they call organized retail theft. People walk into Victoria's Secret at the Bowie Town Center last month, spread out, then grab items, even stuffing them down into a bag and walking out without paying. Lieutenant Robert Stevenson says it's a serious issue. These are your repeat offenders. These are the people who actually put forth a game plan, if you will, to come and, you know, commit these crimes. He says police have not yet made an arrest in this case, but they do share information with other departments in the region to see if they can be identified through prior arrests. Oftentimes, Stevenson says, thieves are coming from outside the area. Going inside, grabbing large amounts of merchandise, thousands of dollars in merchandise sometimes, and, you know, um, fleeing in stolen cars. Retail crime has forced some businesses to shut their doors for good, others to beef up security, lock away inventory, and discontinue high theft items. It's now an over $100 billion problem in the United States. Kelly Locklear heads the Maryland Retailers Alliance. She says the state does not have an organized retail crime law. She's trying to change that because, she says, criminals know the current limitations of shoplifting laws. You have to steal $1,500 worth of merchandise in one county for it to be a felony. These rings are very organized. They give their folks a list and they will jump store to store and they know what number they can hit. And when they hit that number, then it's time to move on to the next county. The alliance is supporting legislation that would define organized retail theft, provide data collection, and allow thieves to be charged with the felony crime for committing multiple thefts in multiple counties in the state. It means higher prices for American consumers. It means less sales tax revenue for state and local governments. Bowie police suggest retailers position high-quality cameras to get good video of people entering and leaving their stores and keep a close eye out for would-be shoplifters. Darcy Spencer, News 4. Now, the legislation passed the Senate in a 45-to-nothing vote. It now moves on to the House.